Where do you think you'll go? I don't know. Australia, maybe? I always love those Crocodile Dundee movies. As soon as Margaret's dead and can't hurt anyone again. Let's go back to the motel until it gets dark. Then we can sneak in. Too risky during the daylight. But in the meantime, you better start eating. Margaret's probably got that crazy person strength, and you're gonna need that kind of strength if you want to be the final girl. I know you're in there. Don't open it. Visitors, but you visited him a week before he escaped. I, did a, I know you pretty well, but it wasn't until I saw you together in the diner that I realized it was you at the execution. You sneak us back into the camp in the trunk of your car, and once we get there, we'll walk you around, show you where everything happened, tell you how everything happened, and in exchange, you let us go. What's the connection between you two? Revenge. Brooke. That bitch don't give a shit about nothing but a paycheck. She's going to expose us. She will ruin our lives. It'll be fine. We just have to show her the shack you tied me up in. How is that going to change anything? That's where I'll kill her. She is not leaving this camp alive. Brooke, you're not a murderer. The only person you killed was in self-defense. That Brooke died in prison five years ago. This is who I am now. Yes, I was capable of... Hey, I... <laughs> can't let you do this. I need to help you kill one person. One person only. <laughs> Bitch, run. No! No! <laughs> this isn't who you are. There's evil inside you, yes. It's in us all, dormant and waiting. I learned that from my father. All I have is anger. You're wrong. You have me. And together we have a purpose. One righteous motherfucking act of revenge. And if we can do that without hurting another soul in the process, it'll wash away every shitty thing we ever did. And we can both be final girls. Yeah. Just not yet. What took you so long? Looks like you broke yourself off a nice slice of life here. Doctor, husband, good looking kids. Donna, I, I know, I, I owe you an apology. Do you have any idea how much guilt I was carrying around after I left you at that place? How could you not let me know you were alive? I did, I, I called, I just could never say hello. As soon as I heard your voice, I'd start shaking. The memories of Redwood would come flooding back in. I hung up every time. But there wasn't a day that went by that I didn't think of you. I'm not mad at you for having a good life. I just wish I could have been a part of it. Yeah. And I'll be damned if I can figure out how you got out. I watched you die. Donna, I hope someday you can forgive me. We're bonded for life. We're the ones that got away. Yeah. I guess we're both the final girl.